Let me show you three inclusive teaching strategies I, st I worked on these past few weeks. The first one was to add a diversity, equity, and inclusion statement to my syllabus. Quite frankly, it was very easy to do and something that will last a long time. So my students know that I'm trying to be diverse and inclusive of their different cultures and perspectives. The second thing I did was went through many of my web pages or many of my media content on my LMS Schoology. I have students use Schoology often, and I wanted to make sure it was accessible to a variety of students. Here's one page that isn't finished. Let me go ahead and show you that Schoology has a really great accessibility checker. By clicking this button here, it lets me know that I might need to update certain things. For example, my image might need alt text for students who aren't able to see the image and using a reader to be able to understand what it is. Also, some of my color might be not in good contrast for students who have certain color blindness, so I can fix that as well. The other thing I added was headers and made sure that my Schoology pages, each of my pages followed certain header format and formatting, paragraph formatting and, and header formatting, because all, all, all of that is included in the Immersive Reader. You can even use the Immersive Reader on Schoology to check to make sure things are working. And this is really neat to be able to see from those students' perspectives. The Immersive Reader is also good to learn about because it does certain things like translate to different languages if you have students who have English as a second language and need extra support. The last thing I did was make sure that my YouTube videos, my lessons that I put on YouTube, have two things. Number one, I wanted to make sure that they had bookmarks so students could easily find the content and fast forward and rewind to certain parts if they wanted to revisit. But more importantly, I wanted to update the subtitles. Google does a really good job, or YouTube does a very good job, of translating the the text to subtitles in your videos, but it's not perfect. So going in there and editing it to make sure that it's accessible to all students and understandable is one of the things I'm starting to work on, and I worked on many of my videos. Well, I hope this was useful, and I hope you consider doing some of these things in your classes as well.